Speaking with a valve is one of the three ways of communicating after a total laryngectomy. This is known as tracheoesophageal speech. Nowadays, this is a gold standard of speaking for total laryngectomies because A, it's relatively quick and easy to learn, and B, it gives you the most natural sounding voice. The valve consists of two flanges and a barrel. At the front, there is a tracheal flange or flange that sits in the windpipe. And at the back, there is an esophageal flange or flange that sits in the food pipe. In the middle of the valve, there is a barrel. And within the barrel, there is a valve door. When you go to speak, air passes through the valve and the air then passes through the door and up over tissue. This causes vibration and allows you to speak. And you will speak with your lips, tongue and teeth in the normal way. The valve door itself will stay closed when you're swallowing so that nothing leaks through the centre of the valve. When you're using your valve to speak, it's really important that you cover your stoma well so that the air is directed through the valve and this will allow you to speak in the most natural and fluent way. ATOS have a range of valves, including the standard valve, which is the Vega, the most commonly used. And there are some other special valves, including Active Valve, Extra Seal and the NID. Speak to your clinician to find out which is the best for you. So when I had first had my laryngectomy, uh, six weeks, I couldn't really communicate other than write everything down, which was quite frustrating uh, in a lot of ways. Because uh, although I could, I, could, I could hear people, I couldn't communicate unless I was writing everything down. And uh, at one stage I used to think, God, I never get rid of all this paper. My consultant uh, said he would uh, willingly fit a valve for me, but I would have to go on a waiting list, which uh, was like a six-month wait, and I couldn't really wait. Although people don't like hospitals, I couldn't wait to get in there and get the valve fitted. But... Uh, I went in and I had my operation. I went back three days after and had the valve fitted. And on the very... When I had my valve fitted and my speech therapy said to me, would you, would you like to say hello? <laughs> Quite emotional. As you can, as you can see, but uh, from that day, I just got better and better. Everything's fine. I never, don't even look back. I don't. I get some strange looks from now and again, but I don't care. <laughs>